What's up kids? Are you having fun? Wow! Thank you for watching at POF Kids Church Online and we're having to the second episode of our All Accord. If you've ever never played with a remote control car, you're missing out a lot of fun. So the controls can be a little tricky, but once you get a hang on them, it's smooth sailing. You can send this car forwards, backwards, left, right, and even make donuts. You can steer it anywhere and everywhere as long as there are no obstacles. Many people think that you can get to heaven by different routes. You can take this road or that, this path or that. Jesus made it very clear. Jesus made it very clear. There's only one way to heaven and that is through him. That is why following Jesus is more like a model train than a remote control car. Where the car go any way it wants, the train goes one way, straight down the track, never veering to the left or right. There's only one way to heaven, and that is with Jesus. Let's follow him straight down the track from here to eternity. I've decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I'm gonna follow. Are you gonna follow? I'm gonna follow. Are you gonna follow? I'm gonna follow. Are you gonna follow?
Most people never consider taking the train when planning a trip. Trains cost money, just like planes. There are only so many trains passing from one town to another. There are only so many railroads still in use. Given that there are so many roads, highways, and interstates crisscrossing the country, traveling by car seems like a smarter choice, right? If you've ever taken a long or even short road trip with the family, you may know that that's not necessarily the case. First of all, there's traffic. If you're in or near a major city during rush hour, you can get stuck for a long, long time. Second, there's all that construction. No matter where you go, you're con you're going to find yourself on a road or a highway that is shut down. Shut down part where completely for repairs. Google Maps might even say the trip from here to there takes four hours. With the time you factor in traffic, construction, and even detours, that four-hour trip could last most of the day. I don't know, nine hours probably. Trains don't deal with traffic. They don't share rails with dozens of other trains, so there's never a traffic jam. Ooh, I want to ride a train if there's no traffic jam. <laughs> Trains don't get surprised by construction. If a rail line is down, the train is rerouted in a way that it never has to stop. And there's one more thing: trains don't stop for cars at crossing. Cars stop for trains. How many times have you been stuck at crossing, watching lights flash and hearing bells ring, while a train lumbers by on its slow and steady course? Trains don't take detours. They don't get sidetracked. They move down the rails from point A to point B. The trip may not always be swift, but it never varies. There's one way to get from point A to to B, the, and the train takes the path without fail. If we want to spend eternity with Jesus in heaven, we must travel like the train, straight down the rail. In God's true book, the Bible, Jesus uses pictures to tell us seven great things about Himself. They all start with the words "I am." Here is the sixth picture. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." God is amazing. He made the stars and the planets. He made the world and everything in it, including you and me. God made us to be with Him, but because we chose to walk away from Him, God's true book tells us it is like being lost. I got lost once. It was really scary. All I wanted was to be back with my dad again, and that is what life is like now. We need to be back with God again. We need to not be lost anymore. Now I'm going to draw you something. Can you tell me what this is? Any guesses? That's right. It's a map. Sometimes people use maps to get to places. Pirates use it to get to treasure. Weather people use maps to explain the weather, and I use maps when I go out driving. Maps are really important. When Jesus says he is the way, it's like he's saying he is the map. He is the only place we can go to get to God. But what if the map lied? What about if it told me to turn left instead of right? What if my map lied? That would be a really big problem. But Jesus says that he is the map that tells the truth. When someone tells the truth, we can trust them, can't we? That is what Jesus means when he says he is the way and the truth. But what about the life? Imagine that at the end of your map, you were going to find the best treasure, everything you ever wanted. It was going to make you so happy. That is what Jesus means by life. When we say sorry to God, we believe in Jesus and follow Him as our King. Then we become part of God's amazing family, and that is a family that we get to be with forever. That is good news. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
Now, I wonder if today, to help you remember this, you could make your own map, maybe of where you live. Make sure to put some nice treasure at the end of the route to help remind you that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life, and that no one gets to God except through him. When Jesus returned to heaven, he wanted to prepare homes for us. Jesus wants us all to spend eternity with him in heaven. But in order to get there, we must go through Jesus. Jesus makes it clear he is the only one who can give us admission into heaven. If we believe in Jesus, he will forgive our sins. He will send his Holy Spirit to live in our hearts so that we can have a personal relationship with him. If we believe in Jesus, we will punch our ticket into heaven, just as trains can only travel one way down the rail. There is only one way to heaven. Jesus is that way. Hi kids! I remember verse for the week is found in John 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hey kids, it's me again, Kuya Ken. How is it going? How was your New Year's resolution? Is it still ongoing or... <laughs> keep it up, just keep it up. Anyway, it's your favorite time of the day. It's some um, trivia time! Let's go! Alright, for our trivia time, it's multiple, cho multiple choice, alright? If it's A, just do this. A. B. B. Let us see. Just do this. Ah. Alright. Do you copy? Let's go. Question number one. Jesus said that his father's house has many. Letter A. Stars. Stairs. Let me do it again. Le letter A. Stairs. Letter B. Rooms. And letter C. Closets. What's your answer, kids? Three seconds. Three, two, and one. The answer is letter B. <laughs> rooms. Jesus said that his his father's house has many rooms. All right. At question number two. Jesus told his disciples, letter A. They knew the way to heaven. Letter B. They would never know the way to heaven. Letter C. They were not welcome in heaven. Three seconds. Three, two, and one. The answer is letter letter A. Jesus told his disciples they knew the way to heaven. All right. Question number three. Who asked Jesus? how they could get to heaven. Letter A, Peter. Letter B, John. Letter C, Thomas. What's your answer kids? Three seconds. Three, two, and one. The answer is letter C, Thomas. It was Thomas. All right. Question number four. Jesus said they're blank to heaven. Letter A, are many ways. Letter B, are a few ways. And letter C, is only one way. Three seconds kids. Three, two, and one. The answer is letter C, is the only way. Jesus said there is only one way to heaven. How are you doing kids? We're able to get it right? Alright, let's go to question number four, five. Alright. No one gets to heaven unless they go through letter A, church, letter B, Jesus, letter C, the Father. Three seconds. Three, two, and one. The answer is letter B, Jesus. 
No one gets to heaven unless they go through Jesus. All right, how's it going, guys? Did you get it all right? Five questions. All right. See you next time, kids. Again later. Hanging out with parents. Make this week's lesson real. Look for one-way street when you are driving the kids around this week. Point out the one-way sign and ask your kids what will happen if they try to go to the wrong way. Then ask them why it is so important to know there's only one way to heaven. Jesus spoke in parables many times. He did so to make his listeners think about the meaning of his teaching. This one point was to so important. Jesus did not hide it in a parable. He came out and said it directly, I am the way. He said, no one comes to the Father except through me. We live in a time when there are many religions, many ways that a person can follow in life. Many books and gurus and teachers offer ways that we can find peace and salvation. And many people choose to believe that all of these paths, different though may be, lead to the same place. Jesus does not give us the options to even believe such a thing. I am the way means there is only one way. No other faith can give you a connection to Jesus and only Jesus can give you admittance into heaven. God does not want anyone to be left out of the blessing of heaven. When Jesus died, He died for the sins of the whole world. As we learned last week, Jesus came to offer salvation to everyone. The sick and the healthy, the rich and the poor. We are all sinners and we are all invited to heaven. But there's only one way to heaven and that is through Jesus. Look at any road map and you'll see a multitude of roads crisscrossing the road, the country. Look closer, you'll see the rail lines running straight through all those roads. There's only one way for the train to go and there's only one way for us to go to heaven. Believe in Jesus because He is the way. So that's all for this week, kids. Thank you for listening. Till next week. Bye!